right? <laughs> what do you mean by interesting? Uh, who are you working for? My dad's a snoop? Is this your job, or do you, like, do it for kicks? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for <laughs> over a year now. I know oh, your mother doesn't man. approve of my work, but wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. Huh. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Huh. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Wait. Wait. Yeah, I'm not gonna rat on mom. What are you getting at? Jeez, I'm not gonna rat my own mom, even if she is a... Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Well, gee, I wonder why. I suspect Who she's would? got a flask <laughs> hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. You actually Do think someone favor, would like son, being you? supervised See like that nonstop? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? Double rations? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, huh. we need to talk. What were you hiding when I came yeah. in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Oh, Tell what? me what? Huh. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown. Is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. No kidding. <laughs> no way. No way. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No <laughs> one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social sainted planning wife? techniques to our oh municipality. My but, what? Confidentially? Not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. Huh. Toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. It was. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy. Whoa. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Yeah. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. Uh-huh. How could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, oh. sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but yeah. then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. It's also always better to do it in person. You know Edna is taking those and not le letting uh, Emmett see them. How about I take it to him? Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Yeah, but if he's as uh, much of an honor student as everyone keeps telling him, maybe he'll be exempt. In fact, why don't we find out a little bit more? It's about me. I'm all ears. What am I like? Well, I... Uh... From certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. Huh. They said that? In so many words. Huh. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and huh. obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... Oh my god! I really don't want to hear anymore. Rubber band collection? I'm proud of you, son. Oh, no, it's worse than ever. Where can I find, uh, me? You, uh, is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? 
Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow uh... with that math and magic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Huh, so, so he's probably a different place, so I can't run into him. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. Uh, you recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! Oh, come on. She's bad news. Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that, that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. She Kissing me cute. Boys, sitting with boys in cars. <laughs> I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. <laughs> Alright, different subject. Okay, different subject. Yeah. How about you? So, about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. How'd you get like this? You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's yes, cinema it verite. Is. These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. Which they True. Will not you can argue that adapt. I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals and of course to use the facilities. Oh my gosh. You're supposed to be a sci-fi writer! You're supposed to be... I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction... I did mess around with that once. Yes, you did. But that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Oh, uh, what? Science fiction's illegal? Science fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible. Oh, and no! it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive nonsense, of course. Oh my gosh, no. No, it's worse than I imagined. Sci-fi is illegal. Ah, this is the, this is the apocalypse. Okay, different subject. Yeah. Anything but science fiction being illegal. Uh, about mom. It's about mom. How did she get like this? How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my in my perfect world. Huh. You're right. It's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. Oh my god. For some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. Gee, I wonder why. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You you're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. Uh -huh. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's gotta be a good thing. No! Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion! What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Oh, I don't know. Or Better? We'd be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Something on your mind? It's about someone we both know. Yes? How about Biff? Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Yeah. Depends on what you mean by... Yeah, sort living. of. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scofflaw should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. All right, tell me about Doc. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream. <laughs> Someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. Oh man, what about my brother and sister? Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Wow, he really is gone. He's really lost in this. 